Hello and welcome to Wednesday evening. It's Ren and Friends with psychic medium, myself, Mary Beth Wren, coming to you live in a little town 27 miles north of Nor- uh, Charlotte, North Carolina, called Kannapolis, North Carolina. Maybe some of you have uh, are fr- uh, fans of NASCAR or if you have boyfriends or husbands who love NASCAR, I am in the <laughs> ground zero of NASCAR. Uh, so, welcome to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I always like to give a shout out to my producer Dave behind the scenes, as we are dueling lyrics. Yes, I just started to sing the song "Vacation," sent the uh, from the Go Go's. If anybody remembers that tune, and he shot back with, "I'd have to go back." Um, Yes, the Electric Avenue, of which I went back at him and started singing Double Dutch Bus. So, <laughs> if, you, if you like music, listen to us. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, shout out to his other half, Connie, who's uh, producing and also helping this show put this great network together. And, of course, Shelby in the chat room. Hi, Shelby. She's in the Facebook chat room right now. And, of course, my mother, who's in town this, this evening listening live in Kannapolis, and my sister as well. So shout out to my sister Marion and to my mother. Hello, you two. I hope you are enjoying the show. Now remember, this is Ren and Friends. I'm Ren, and you're my friends. So let's get started uh, shortly with readings. Um, I'm being told here I should promote my book. It's over my shoulder back there, The Good Morning. In fact, we just did our first run. We sold out. So I just got... 57 more publications. Here it is. The Good morning. Here we go. Good morning. I purposely spelled it like grief morning. This is a good morning. And these are tales from the other side. Not to scare you, but to enlighten you. It's stories about hope, compassion. It's stories to when you go to bed at night to realize you're not alone. Your loved ones are watching over you. It's also stories about get you up out of bed. So if you find yourself depressed, there it's a way of lighting a fire under, well, you, your posterior, if you get my drift. I realize I'm on radio and television. So I'll behave, Dave. <laughs> I is a professional broadcaster. <laughs> Too many years in the FM dial. Anyway, that's the back of the book, like I expect you to read it. But uh, you can find the book on Amazon.com. So just look up Good Morning, look for the bright orange cover with the beautiful angel on the front cover, and you can purchase it as an ebook, or you can purchase it as a hard copy. Here's the hard copy, and if you like reading and holding books, you know, it's to each their own. I didn't want to burn down that, uh, burn down another tree, (laughs) so I kind of like the Kindle, uh, which is over my shoulder, but if I try to get it now... Dave's going to get mad that I left the camera view, the viewfinder. I'm staying right where I am, Dave. Not moving. Yeah, have you figured it out? I like radio way better than I like television. I'm lazy. I like to be in a t-shirt. Well, I am in a t-shirt and jeans. Anyway. (laughs) All right. Who's our first victim? I mean, (laughs) I'm just kidding. Who's our first listener calling into the show tonight? Dave. Okay. Tiffany, welcome to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. Please enter at your own risk. What can I do for you this evening? Um, well, I actually just put myself on a list, and I've been having lots of crazy things going on in my life, lots of changes. So I wanted to see if there was any insight that you could give me or pick up on. Um, I'm what? definitely looking for a new job at this time, so... Well, when you say you just put yourself on a list, what are you talking about? What does that mean? Um, Well, I put myself randomly on a Facebook list to get called today to get a meeting. Okay. Okay. I'm like, what did you sign up to? (laughs) Okay. Aunt Mary Beth's going to get on your case. (laughs) All right, Tiffany. As I tune into your energy field... I see a beautiful green aura field. Now, I find this kind of ironic because greens are list thinkers. You've got to write down point A, point B, point C, point D, uh, so forth. 
And usually when I see green in a person's aura field, I think of people who are computer programmers, list planners, event planners, culinary arts cookers, cook chefs, um, people that make recipes. I talk with my hands. Can you figure? So, Tiffany, give me a minute. Let me look at your energy field and cards so I can read you. And Yeah. Why do I keep repeating Aquarius in my mind? What's your birthday? Uh, June. Gemini or Cancer? Gemini. You're an air sign. Okay. Uh, Aquarius, Libras, and Geminis are the air signs. I keep repeating Aquarius to me. So, that tells me you'll have an eclectic job in the future. Unique, eclectic choices. You know what? I have a feeling like you... So I'm going to just toss it out there. I could see you actually getting, uh, becoming an actress. I know, don't shoot the messenger. But if you uh, maybe, maybe get the uh, glossy headshot, send them out, do the spaghetti test, throw it to the wall. If it sticks, works out. Great. But I keep feeling like I'm supposed to say acting with you. In fact, the first card, King of Swords. Uh, now, s- Somebody would say that would be love life and everything else. But Tiffany, when I see the king of uh, king of swords, I like to associate toward people in the law field, lawyers, people uh, working in police departments. Uh, so I feel like you could have a career that's, uh, I want to say, I can't shake this out. Why am I feeling like you had been a, uh, an actress in the past? Is this true? Uh, no, it's, I actually have not done any acting. I see commercial spots acting in front of the camera. I know it sounds weird, but, you know, give it a try. What I'm saying is just put yourself out there, try a curtain call, whatever. Uh, what I'm simply saying is don't be surprised if you get hired. Look, I'm seeing a job that has to do with, um, law work or something that has to do with government office law work decide decision makings and i also see this job appearing to you or coming into your life and i feel like i'm supposed to stay in the beginning part of september so maybe the everybody's on vacation right now holy cow it is not leaving me i still see acting all right let me ask you this have you been closely connected to photography commercial spots Worked in cable, advertising, anything like that? Uh, no. I know it sounds kooky, but I want you just to send your resume, even if it means to whatever cable it is in California. Just send it. I know it sounds strange, but I keep seeing cameras around you. Look, if I'm seeing you in the law, let's hope you're in the like police department lawyer and not the other end uh because <laughs> i don't want that kind of camera if you know what i mean but yeah, uh, I tiffany i'm seeing a job for you yeah. and then my energy feels like it's going to be the september time period so it's just a few more weeks and it feels like it's a full-time job that awesome. is where i'm going Okay, so if you end up getting an acting job and you're doing a commercial spot, even if it's on YouTube, you send me it. I want to see it because I'm telling you, I think there's a career there. Okay. Uh, all right. I appreciate you calling my show and I wish you all the of best. Of course. Bye, right, Tiffany. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You're listening to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. I'm your hostess, psychic medium, Mary Beth Ren. You can reach me at www.marybethren, W-R-E-N-N, just like it's spelled in the graphics down there, at uh, marybethren.com. As I said, shout out to Shelby in my Facebook right, uh, Facebook chat room. And Shelby is reminding me, I'm sure, that we have an event August 4th in Kannapolis. Tickets are still available. And uh, it'll be in uh, downtown Old Town Kannapolis for people who listen locally and this event is a messages from the other side gallery where i connect to the other side conveying messages of love from heaven to you for your loved one or from your loved ones 
Now, they don't necessarily were going to tell you when you're going to get laid or when you're going to get paid, but they will let you know that they are still around. They love you very much and give you feelings and supportive messages of compassion. If you want to find out about your future when it comes to your love life and your romance, then come see me in a private reading. That's a whole new ball of wax. So you can always find out information by going to my website, www.marybethren.com. And again, if you want to call this great station and are, or watch it on Moonstruck TV, the 800, or should I say the one triple eight number is one triple eight four five four two seven five one. That's four five four two seven five one. Or you can just go onto Facebook and look for Ask One Radio, and Dave and Connie will give you a hand there. Now, let's go to the next person. And it looks like we have a Maureen coming in from North Carolina. Maureen. Welcome to Ren and Friends Psychic Talk Radio. How can I help you this evening? Um, I just I just feel really like kind of lost and I'm torn between things and I just wonder what you might see for me possibly. Okay, that explains why I see a gray energy field to you. Now, when I see a gray energy field doesn't necessarily mean evil and negative and all that stuff. It doesn't. It just shows a feeling of down or depression. It could show that uh, it feels like you're walking through molasses, <laughs> okay, just kind of slow and draggy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. Okay. So I've got to get into your fields a little bit further because I keep seeing a, the gray energy field. Now, like the last person, Tiffany from California, I'm absolutely convinced she's going to be in the photography industry or a model, okay? And she's like, no, no, and I'm going, yes, yes. So it might mm-hmm. be one of these deals, okay? I feel like I'm supposed to acknowledge a man around you. And I want to say it might be the other side. I feel like I'm supposed to say Joey to you. Joseph, Joey, ja. John, Joey, mm-hmm. Joseph. Is this a brother who crossed over? No, not that I know of. Um. Okay, it's one of those you don't know. It may come through later on. I feel like I'm supposed to continue to acknowledge Joey. I'm going to stay with that. Okay. Now, as I'm looking at that energy, I, I see. I feel like this person's more of the position of being a brother to you than a boyfriend or a husband. Now, I feel like this person was on the other side. If he's not, I feel like one of the reasons why you might be so down could be that you're an empty empath picking up on everybody else's energy not knowing where mm-hmm. you end where you begin and you're picking up this guy named joey's energy and if he's down you're down er <laughs> does that make sense to you yes i i'm sure i'm i'm i am empathetic because i pick up on everybody i pick up on things all the time with certain people around me you certainly do now as i Look into your energy field deeper. I see a very pretty light pink aura field to you. That color reminds me of a person in the medical field or in some kind of healing aspect field. Whether you were a nurse, doctor in the past, whether it's retirement, I don't know. But I do feel that you are a natural healer. However, you naturally (laughs) attract Debbie Downers and Doug Downers to you. Yuck. Yuck lucky you Mm -hmm. um that's the way you're going to be be a psychologist and get paid for it but don't date them okay (laughs) do you know what i'm saying (laughs) holy cow okay i'm i'm what i'm doing is tuning into the source of why i'm sensing that you're walking through molasses okay now okay the old routine of uh make sure no means no. So, I mean, I want to say not to, don't don't quickly answer things. I know I'm, I'm feeling like I'm giving you advice more than a spiritual reading, but I feel it's because you need, we got to pull you up out of the quicksand here, okay? Mm-hmm. So, stop, stop saying yes when you mean no. All right, the, the old settle routine. Okay, now. 
I'm not sure where the word Hookerton, North Carolina is, but I'm seeing logs, mountains, Asheville. Are you up toward the mountains or down by the beach? Um, kind, kind of like in between, actually. I'm in the farm what? country. Why would I be in seeing logs? <laughs> logs. Why do I see, yeah, I I see logs like wood, lumber, wood, logs? Are you in the contracting business or carpentry business? Do you work at Lowe's, Home Depot? I'm seeing logs and no. lumber. No, okay. but I'm in the medical this, field. <laughs> okay. But, why, but I hear the word wood. So uh, if I read into that, could wood be W-O-U-L-D, wood? Could it be that you work in the preventative medicine business, meaning more fiber like wood? I'm reaching here. Could you be working for a Dr. <laughs> wood? <laughs> Why am I seeing lumber carpenter? Mm, no, um, I, I'm sure that something will come up with it, but I can't think of it right now. I sense that I'm talking about a name. So look for Dr. Wood or Dr. Carpenter or a doctor with a pine, a Dr. Pine. Yeah, Dr. Tree. <laughs> okay, Dr. I'm reaching. Uh, Dr. Oak. Uh, watch it be that he works in Pinewood Estates. I don't know. I just feel like I'm supposed to tell you that there is a opportunity of business for you and happiness connected to wood. Okay. I know better not to overanalyze because it gets the medium gets in the way when she does. So uh, <laughs> that's good. You're starting to show me your true self. This is good. The gray energy is fading out. Lovely. That tells me you need to be hanging around around. Um, uh, you know what? Dave just showed me something on 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 the background on my call screen. You you don't live mm -hmm. too far from Woodview, North Carolina, do you? Um, I'm not sure where that is. I'm not originally from North Carolina, so I'm still figuring out places sometimes. Okay. Well, there may be a job opportunity. Something positive is occurring with... You know what? Dave is now beating out Alexa. I better not say that too loud. I have an Alexa in my office, so if I say it, she'll answer. <laughs> She's listening. Oh, sh see? She just answered. So, Dave, it's not my fault. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> She just said, I don't know that answer. But uh, Dave's right. She, according to Dave. Like a, mm -hmm. That would be, would be a change in location, though? Cause yes. It's kind of torn because between two different locations right now. <laughs> Well, Dave, who is the behind-the-scene guy here, telling me that Woodview, North Carolina, is five miles south of the location you gave us, uh, which was Hookerton, and it's off Highway 58. So, Dave being okay. Alexa. Like, oh, I, all right. Like oh, Alexa. Don't say that okay. What wow. I can tell you about. <laughs> I learned something new today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, call the radio station and get GPS tracking. Woohoo! <laughs> so stick around. <sighs> stick. I want you to stick around. I'm not done with you. You stick around. Okay. Stay with me. Don't hang up. I'll have to chase you down. And I know where you live exactly now. <laughs> so, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This is the visions I get for you. You must. It's vital to your energy field to hang around people that are optimistic and have a good, strong sense of humor, a good sense of life, optimism, etc. Because mm -hmm. you are so super sensitive, you're picking up on, well, patients that would rather deal with medicine in a reactive way than a proactive way. So you're dealing with people that have been, quote, diagnosed with diabetes, but let's still have the three musketeer bar. Do you see what mm -hmm. I'm saying? They're not wanting to help themselves. And you are such a good caregiver that you're burning yourself out doing it. Now, are you in a, I still feel like I'm supposed to say CNA. Do you work? Like, do you travel as a travel nurse? No. No, I'm in the office all the time. I'm, I'm in supposed neurology. to say... <laughs> that okay. Tells you anything. That'll drive you crazy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I am feeling a, 
me see if I can get this here. I sense that there's a promotion of money, but I feel like it's connected to a company where nurses or doctors go out to the patients, not come in. I don't know why I'm saying this, this traveling routine. Let me look a little further into these cards. Okay. Have you been with this uh, neurologist for about two years? Uh, or has it been well, long? Actually, we, we, well, we got bought out, so it's not going to be five years, and then it was like in 2010. Okay. I'm being shown in about two years. I still feel like this travel and vibration. Like, uh, I see these visions about, that's why I thought you were a CNA. That's why I said it. So, could be wrong, but I'm still saying. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. That shows me Durham, North Carolina. Uh, not sure other than Duke University's hospital up there, but mm -hmm. by the way, my hand is itching up a storm. You're coming into some serious money, so I don't know if you need the lottery so. or I not. I you need some. <laughs> I really need some. <laughs> I've been being positive, thinking positive, living for the well, moment, if, um, but my children live in Fayetteville, so I don't know if that's where Durham's coming from. It feels a little off. Uh, it's a couple hours away east of Durham, sort of Vietnam. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I'm not seeing lottery numbers. I'm asking. I'm asking for you, but I'm not seeing them. But I am okay. sensing that you're coming into money through an investment. I don't know if that's a real estate investment or a son who has a business and you're investing in him. But if it comes up, God, would you please remember the name Joey? It's coming in my head again. Okay. Whew. I'm just, I Joey, feel your energy. You're, you know what? You may think you're depressed, know. but you're not. You're not. You're just over, you're just overwhelmed. You're not depressed. Well, I'm not a no, doctor. I'm okay, I get it. I'm, yeah. I'm, but I'm I don't overwhelmed, feel, right? I'm overworked and underpaid and overstretched. <laughs> Hey, man, you should write a country song. Then you'll get well paid. <laughs> yeah, no. you, you can figure out the rest. Uh, one other random thing to say to you, and this is completely random, but I'm supposed to tell you to check your oil in your car. Not being paid, sponsored by Jiffy Lube. I'm just supposed to tell you to take, take care of your oil in your car. What the okay. heck? Fine, I'll say that. <laughs> there it is. Oh, I've had such a blast <laughs> talking to you. And I really like your energy. It's a rose quartz color underneath the gray field. We just kind of needed to move that out. Okay. To get yeah. to you. All right. I feel good. Do you have, let's see. Do we have Dave? Can I sneak another question in on her? I think I can. I've got five minutes. He's going to kill me otherwise. Got anything else you want to ask? Um... I, I just, I'm just a little hoping I was going to be going to be able to move closer to my children at some point, but I feel like I'm stuck here right now. I see the eldest child being a son. If I'm incorrect, I see a son as the like either a son-in-law, but I see an eldest child as a son. I feel like I'm supposed to acknowledge the numbers three, two. I don't know if that's 32 years old. You don't sound like you'd be old enough to have a 30-year-old. Maybe it's 23. My impression is yes, but I feel like it could be like a hop, skip, and a jump. So I feel like you could be going from wherever you live to Woodview, to Woodview, to Durham, to Durham, to Vietnam. But I feel like it's going to be in the... There goes the name Wood. I think it's a doctor. Dr. Wood, Dr. Carpenter, Dr. something related to Wood. I don't, I hope okay. his name's not Dr. I'm writing Termite. things down, so. <laughs> <laughs> Good, because normally I record them. But in this case, you know what you can do? Watch this rerun and just write down everything. Yeah. And that goes with you, Tiffany, if you're still listening, because I'm convinced you're an actress. Uh, and anybody who gets a reading by these, by us, us, Awesome psychics. Okay, I'm blushing, but you know what I mean. The really good psychics on the station. You can go back and watch those shows again, and when you do, you pick up so much more that the psychic was saying. 
Because I don't know about the rest True. of the psychics, but I have a tendency to talk a million miles a minute. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> Dave's always well, talking about <laughs> out. <laughs> yeah, um, so. yeah. Well, I come from, from uh, I come from psychics. I mean, my mother was psychic. I'm trying to develop my psychic. So. You want to but know I'm something? Up on people's emotions. <laughs> yeah, you are. You want to know something funny? Oh, um, Dave with his crystal ball behind the scenes. And his, uh, well, his GPS and his Google system over there, he just says, and he's, he's typing it over to me now, he just found a Dr. Wood in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Oh, and wow. it's Dr. Dr. Brandt. Dr. Brandt Wood. Now, I would think that would be a hoot if it were Dr. Branch Wood. <laughs> then you got me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm writing that down. I'm gonna re- I'm gonna watch it too because I listen to your show and everything. This is what I do when I'm working. <laughs> the work and I, I listen to um, a lot of Thank paranormal you. things. And well, come up to the like book signing. Coach. I have a book signing at the Editions Coffee House August twenty. Yeah, I'm supposed to know my own schedule. August twenty second, mm-hmm. August twenty fifth, and uh, August fourth. Canapolis. <laughs> You know, home in NASCAR, <laughs> K-Town. But, uh, oh, Indianapolis? No, not Indian. No, no. Connapolis. That's the other NASCAR. I'm in, like, national, I don't know what it stands for. NASCAR, just where they race cars, turn left. Uh, Connapolis with a K and, like, Annapolis. Okay. All righty. Well, listen, I've got to close my show, but thank you so much. And thank and you, thank everyone. You. And my husband's birthday is 23, by the way, so there might be their 32. <laughs> there you go. Get him get a job in Fayetteville. Thank you all, all for right. listening to Red and Frank. Okay, take care. And everyone else, don't forget you are listening to Red and Friends, Psychic Talk Radio. Remember reality is what you make it. So make sure you make it the very best. Have a wonderful evening. I'll see you next week. <laughs>